So how much regularity do you have in your life? And do you recognize that regularity is your friend? That's what we're gonna talk about here whilst we wait for Old Faithful to go off. Welcome to The Home Place again. My name is Paul, this is Carolyn, and today, as we said in the intro, we're stood here in Yellowstone National Park waiting for Old Faithful to go and off. And we're not alone, as you can see. <laughs> and why are all those people here? Why is this the most popular geyser in Glacier in Yellowstone National Park? <laughs> because it's faithful. And it's been going off every 92 minutes, plus or minus 10, since 1870. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it's it is faithful. It's just a phenomena in nature. And what happens is every you know, uh, hour and a half or so, this thing just erupts. You'll see it in a minute. So stay with us. But whilst we're waiting for it to go off, we wanted to talk about regularity. Do you like regularity? Do you like it when you go to the... In fact, you were going to say that. Bit. Well, just that, you know, when you go to the airport, you like it when your plane is on time and you land on time and everything's on schedule and you go to the doctor's office. Isn't it great when your appointment is on time? You know, when you go to work, your employer likes you to show up on time and you like to go home on time. It's amazing how, <laughs> how many people grumble because things weren't on time. <laughs> right, right. We like regularity. It's very important. But how is it then that when we open those doors into our homes so that somehow or another we don't like regularity? Well, I think, I think the mindset is, yeah, the world has to be on schedule to get anything done. But when we get home, that's just downtime. I mean, we don't need to get anything done. We just <laughs> chill and nothing gets done. Right. Why? <laughs> but, but, but what about the family? Is the family not an important group of people oh, and an important environment more important home. than any of that other right, stuff absolutely yeah. well here we have in Corinthians 4 and verse 40 it says let all things be done decently and in order that's God's words about regularity yeah we all appreciate regularity but it's tough to actually achieve because it takes some self-sacrifice and we can't just go with the flow. Right. We can't just do whatever we want to do whenever we want right, to do it. Right, right. You know, so there's some wheel crossing to go on. Yeah, I mean, what is it? Nike says, just do it. You know, regularity says, don't. <laughs> Think about it <laughs> first. Do it when it's the right time to do it. <laughs> um, another scripture here is to everything there is a season, there is a time. So this thing's going to go off at its right season, at its right time. As all these hundreds of people are expecting. Yeah, thousands actually. <laughs> thousands. So uh, Ecclesiastes 3.1, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So some of the things that, is it going? Almost. No. <laughs> Uh, some we of, we some arrived of th about 10 minutes early, by the way. Right. Uh, some things that we should schedule into our life is a regular bedtime. Right. In fact, if you're gonna if you're gonna work on what we would call schedule, you've really got to figure out when's the right time to go to bed, so that tomorrow will be on schedule. You yeah. won't do it without having that factored in first. You got to be realistic. If you need eight hours sleep a night, then don't try going to bed at midnight and getting up at six, because it'll only last a short right. period and, of time, and then you won't be able and, to sustain it. And when you it. need to get up, it's going to be set determined by a few factors maybe yep. it's you know the husband's work the father's work when he has to get out of the door yep. and then you'll be backtracking to when he needs to get up yeah so figure out when you need to be at the door how much sleep you need and that will be when you go to sleep and here, here when you go to bed and here's the thing it's going to be way sooner than you think you're used <laughs> to you pushing <laughs> and this world is set up so everything interesting is in the evening it's all <laughs> evening 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 so that you can't get up in the morning and, and have some time with and God. And the thing is, reality is that you can go to bed two hours late and it's not that big of a deal. But you show up to work two hours late and all of a sudden you don't have a job. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, I mean, I think everybody should have some kind of a schedule, whether it's just when you get up and when you go to bed. But for us, we have a schedule of when we get up and when we go to bed, when we eat, when we have worship together, um, when we work, when we play. We, we have that schedule. Right. And some people might feel like, oh, that's bondage. You can't do what you want to do when you want to do it. But the truth is... <laughs> is we get way more things right. done because of a little bit of a schedule right. imagine if the uh, hospital you know with their surgeries 
they just said, oh, you need a hip replacement? Yeah, come in next Tuesday or Wednesday where the surgeon might be here and yeah, we might be able to get something done. They would never get very much done. <laughs> but if they have a schedule where the whole team comes together, it works. Right, and the family unit wants to get a lot of things done, whether you've got infants or whether you've got young adults you right. want to be able to achieve and maximize what you can do as a family so that's why the schedule is so important in the you family. had a quote here from there's Adventist a great quote home. Adventist home says every member of the family should realize that a responsibility rests upon him individually to do his part in adding to the comfort order and regularity of the family so moms I just want to encourage you though I believe the weight of this lands on our shoulders especially if we're at home moms and we're homeschooling our young people but that encouraged me greatly every member of the family now of course if you've got infants they are not going to set the schedule you're going to have to right. lead the way right. but dad and sometimes dads especially because they're in the workplace everything is very scheduled when they get home they can actually blow out of the water <laughs> the schedule that mom has labored hard to, to preserve because right. they come home and they just want to do whatever they want to do <laughs> sorry guys I'm not getting at you but it is true so every, what you're saying is everybody needs to contribute everybody, everybody needs, needs to, to be on board contribute to that and so I'm gonna to have to interrupt you because I think it's going off right on time <laughs> <laughs> so old faithful didn't let us down he kept his schedule and he went <laughs> off for the millionth time or however many it's been over the last who knows how long so anyway. And if you missed it, you can be back in an hour and a half and it'll be all over again. <laughs> so our challenge to you is make yourself a schedule at least when you go to bed and when you get up and you'll find that you get way more done in life. Anyway, till next time, God bless from Paul and Carolyn. <laughs>